In this video, let's talk about what are the problems with front loading instructions. So front loading instructions is that you try to install an app. Once you load the app, it is going to start with instructions. Do this, do this, set up your account, and then you are going to able to use that app. So there are certain, and I would say a lot of problems with this blocking technique. So you are actually blocking your user behind a wall. So we are going to see what are the problems with that technique. So let's get started. So here you can see we, we have the first problem, which is predicting future. You are trying to predict the future that user is going to watch these slides or this video, which is not true. Second is that when the user sees though, see those, um, sees those instructions or set of instructions, maybe seven steps or whatever, he's going to be overwhelmed or she's going to be overwhelmed that uh, maybe this product is difficult to use. So this is the thing and that is going to come to their mind. Third is that it is hard to remember all those instructions. I have already told that user is going to perceive it, that it is more difficult to use. Then the main thing is again, out of context. User is coming from a background. We don't know whether he is in a hurry. He wants to book a cab or something like that. And you are trying to uh, sign up with him for like showing him or her a very long form. So this is not a good. So you haven't tried your product before. You haven't tried that product. And uh, that product is asking for your personal details. This is a bit alarming situation for a user perspective. Next is focus on awareness, then follow through. So you are just making your user aware of the product. You are telling them that this is how this product works, or this is how it operates, or these are its features, but you are not following through. You are not seeing what the user wants or what they are trying to ask you, and then you follow through that. So um, the last is, difficult to maintain and scale. So it is really, really difficult that you are making like uh, a, a user onboarding video. Whenever your product changes, you are you have to change the video. So if you if you have new features added, you have to made, make more slides, make more images. So it is difficult to maintain and scale. So if you have like added 10 new features in your product, how you are going to onboard your user then? Are you going to make again 10 times the new video again and again? So these are the problems with front loading uh, instruction set or front loading technique uh, that is widely used in user onboarding. Now I'm going to quote here uh, a very uh, famous social scientist, Herbert A. Simon. What he said is a wealth of information creates a poverty of attention. So if you have a lot of information, you are overwhelming your user with like 10 or seven or five different steps or different screens of instructions. Uh, it is going to uh, have problem with their attention. So users have limited span of attention, you have to use that. And you have to guide them rather than showing upfront 10 different steps to follow through. Now here is an interesting usability study done, done by Nielsen Norman Group. Uh, in 2020, they did a test on different users about how difficult the, the product is to uh, use. So they found out that the users that were uh, getting the tutorial upfront, they thought that the product is difficult to use. So if you are showing your, um, your users on your onboarding process, upfront tutorial or videos or steps to follow, they are going to think that this is more difficult and they are going to skip that tutorial. Most of the time, I think 80, 90% users, they actually press on the skip or close that video. Now the next problem is that is associated with this frontal instructional load loading kind of user um, onboarding, which is unaided full immersion. So you are trying to um, throw your user into a full immersion of the product without any aid. So uh, do not launch your uh, newcomers or new, new users 
into full product experience without any aid or without any guidance. So what is going to happen? For example, you might have seen some games uh, that don't provide any tutorial. You have to figure out everything on your own. Maybe some uh, game like uh, I have played game uh, like Lara Croft in the beginning, like 20 or 15 or 20 years ago. And it was so difficult for us to, you know, uh, sometimes figure out few things or few actions. Now, most of the games these days, they have a tutorial or a tutorial plan kind of um, gameplay in the start. So they actually teach you with and guide you during the first play of your game. So this is how you actually uh, immerse your user rather than throwing them without any guidance. Second is that if you are going to do uh, unaided full immersion or without any support that figure out on your own self then you are going to exclude your audience a lot of the audience they are going to be very uh, beginners at the beginner level or maybe they are newbies they haven't used that kind of games or product so uh, you are actually limiting your audience so only expert people they are going to use your product or buy your product all others are going to skip it or they are not going to buy your product so these are the problems so don't launch your uh, uh, user without any aid so maybe if you think that unaided instructions or the frontal instructions doesn't work so let's remove those instructions and throw your user without any aid into the product then it is going to be disastrous too now here is a case study of Plant vs Zombies 2 which is my favorite game I played all the day every day almost every day. Now George Fan uh, he actually used this strategy in Plants vs Zombies 2 where he actually used the first level to familiarize the players with the whole interface and how this whole gameplay actually works before taking them to the complex levels. So uh, now uh, user onboarding if someone says that we didn't recognize that we were uh, introduced to a gameplay level or it was a tutorial then it is a compliment for fan you can see he says uh, for fan it's a compliment compliment if a player says that uh, they didn't notice the game had a tutorial so you can see uh, the figure below which is uh, passive instructions unsupported immersion so we have to be in the middle we have to develop a guided interaction rather than unsupported immersion that is on one side of the scale the uh, the other side is passive instruction that you just show some instructions and think and predict that users are going to follow those which is not true most of the time users are going to skip that so guided interaction which is in the middle of both these concepts is going to work or the best for user onboarding. So now uh, in this lesson we have studied three different techniques of user onboarding which are which ones are failing which ones are going to be the best guided interaction un, um, unsupported immersion uh, then we have passive instructions most of the um, products I have used they have passive instructions. So let me show you actually one example I, I just uh, uh, I just uh, trying to track one of my package from Russia and you can see I went to this 17 track which is a very popular website you can see over here so every time I am hit whenever I open this I'm not sure what they have introduced some new features or whatever so you can see these are four icons they are trying to explain that this this actually does this this actually does this I think this is third or fourth time that I have actually uh, press this because I wanted to see and track my package rather than you know see their instructions so this is a uh, kind of uh, you can say very um, good example of what I actually don't want what you actually don't want in your product so you can see also these icons they don't have any labels although they have some um, these uh, overlays that are showing that this is actually what this uh, actually does so very nice tool but uh, I think this is not the good way 
of showing those. Maybe they can highlight these and show uh, the titles or maybe some uh, what you can say labels maybe for four or five times in the start and that is going to familiarize the user rather than you know showing a whole tutorial and clicking on different things so what i did is whenever my context is that i came here to search for my package and you are, you and you are showing me what are the new features you have added in your product that is very very irrelevant so this is a simple example of what user context is and how you are going to uh, show them the usage because I am uh, I already have used this app many times and I don't want to see what new features they have added maybe later on so don't show it up front okay so that is all uh, in this lesson I hope you have enjoyed and learned something new we'll meet you in another lesson till then take care bye bye